You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. Hello, everyone. This is your good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fan to that one. And this is the type of crap I need to get this off my chest, because I'm probably been wondering right now, I'm probably been living under the walk right now, just like me. Anyway, I, 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 honestly guys, this morning I was on Instagram, I was just talking to Toby, and Toby told me about Chris Duckmanize, and I was like, what Chris, I mean, what Chris, what Chris Duckmanize did? And he told me about he's, he's getting his criticized bashing by these woke media. And I was like, uh, what woke media did, and please do not tell me it's the Marvel. No, do you only think that bashing people's opinion on the Marvel is bad? Well, you better wait and see for the upcoming Buy So Many Pictures, which, honestly, guy, uh, honestly, I am not saying that the Marvel is like a Sony movie. No, it's not. It's an MCU movie, don't it? Anyway, he told me that he's, that Chris Duckman is He's getting his criticized bashing on the freaking Matter Web movie. Which is the movie, which is the Netto Spider-Man universe movie without Spider-Man apparently. And when I heard about it, and I was like, Seriously? A woke mob is attacking Chris Duckman nice criticized over the freaking Matter Web? Like, come on, it's just a movie, dude. Like, come on, this is a type of nonsense that you can, this is a type of nonsense that you, that you are going to be rapping for two hours. Like, are you kidding me right now? I have never seen this type of woke mob can be that petty, can be that stupid, just like this. And do you seriously think that they are, I'm sorry, do you, uh, I mean, do you, do you think that so do you think that the woke mob is complaining about over butt in the X Men ninety seven, which I I mean which honestly guys that show I mean that show changed female I mean I mean female butt size and now they're small honestly and people was completely mad about it and I was like, are you serious right now complaining about over butt? What come on? What I'm sorry. What come on? What next? What next? Like I just, honestly I don't want to know. I I do not want to know what is next. What's what's on the guy? These woke Bob is getting on my nerve. Anyway, let's get back what I'm saying. Anyway, do you think that they are complaining about over butt in the X Men ninety seven is bad? I mean, which is annoying. I mean, which is bad? Well, you better wait and see for this one because this is even worse that they are complaining about over butt in the X Men ninety seven cartoon, which is the which is the upcoming Marvel anim I mean Marvel animation shows, which is the new brand from Marvel Studio on the street. Which does it make sense? Because animation deserve I mean deserve a cinema. So I honestly I really hope I really hope I'm sorry, I really hope that Marvel Animation will I mean will make some animated movie, like I mean I mean, I mean, um, I mean, um, like Spider-Verse movie. Can't forget that. Anyway, and honestly, guys, no joke. When I hear about Chris Duckman Eyes, it's getting his criticized bashing. I mean, I mean, by the woke Bob over a freaking matter web. I gotta said, what the heck is going on in this generation? Like, are you kidding me right now? People are getting mad over movies. This is even worse than, sorry, this is even worse than the woke mob bashing, I mean, my goodness, for goodness sake, this is even worse than, pe sorry, this is even worse than the woke mob is bashing people's opinion on Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, honestly, honestly, guys, it can show that you cannot like anything, you can, I mean, you can hate anything, like, honestly, guys, you can hate, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you can hate anything, like, I am not gonna, sorry, I am, sorry, I am not going to hate everything, which, Hating everything, not, I'm sorry, that, I'm sorry, that is not, sorry, that is not how you do a movie critic, dude. Come on. Anyway, I am, sorry, I am going to defend, I mean, defend Chris Duckman, because, honestly, guys, 
Oh my goodness, I'm just, oh my goodness, I'm just getting sick of tired of these woke mobs. These woke mob is getting on my nerve. And yes, and yes, I already know some people said that the woke mob is a thing. Like, honestly, I can't, I'm sorry, I, I cannot, I'm sorry, I cannot take it. This is the final straw, man. It's the final straw, man. Come on now. Anyway, honestly, God, that was my short response video about Chris Tuckman Nice is getting his criticized bashing over, I mean, over freaking, I mean, over freaking Matter Web. Which, after I heard about it, I am completely worried about my opinion on Matter Web. Because just like the Marvel and just like Aquaman, the Wasp, I mean, I mean Aquaman and the Wasp Kingdom, which, speak of that film, that film is coming on Max on February 27th. And I am going to rewatch that film, but this time with my friend's house, because last time I did that, it got hacked. So, I will wait until that movie heads on streaming service. And I really hope it will get a release date for Wonka, which, as the one movie, the bub really wanted to see. So, we're going to try that again. Anyway... That was my response video about Chris Tuckman Nice. It's getting his criticized bashing by the woke mob, aka, sorry, I mean, aka Fantasy Menace over freaking Meta Web. Which, people, you know what? You know what? What's not? Anyway, Chris Tuckman Nice, I completely understand what you're coming from because, on the eyes, to be honest, we just don't want to criticize of the ball. I'm sorry. <clears throat> A matter web. Why? It's because we just don't want to hurt filmmaker feeling because I completely understand where he's coming from. Because he just because he don't want to hurt filmmaker feeling because he's a filmmaker for goodness sakes. Like he's not just a movie critic. He I mean he is a director. He's a director in the move. I mean he I mean he's a filmmaker, director, and right now he's making movies. Like, on the guys, uh, what, on the guys, what if his movies bomb because of this, I mean, because of this nonsense news? I hope it's not the reason because it's, t I'm sorry, on the guys, this is, uh, uh, on the guys, this is the type of, sorry, this is the type of stuff that you can go away and forget about it because, on the guys, it's just, on the guys, it's just getting on my nerve and these, I mean, and this, I mean, these woke mob is just really making me angry. It's, on the guys, this is, on the I'm sorry, I'm honest, guys. These woke Bob is making me angry just like she go from the one Kim Possible episodes when she put Dragon in that robot. I mean, <laughs> I mean, in that robot way, which that part was really funny, I must have said. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this woke, I mean, woke mob, woke mob, I cannot, honestly, I cannot say with my straight face, but if you want to see this type of video about these woke mob, please. I highly recommend you. You hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification, and share the video with your family. And Chris Duckman eyes, I completely understand where you're coming from because on the guys, he just said that he just don't want to hurt filmmaker feeling. And I already know filmmaker work film so hard, but woke mob is just didn't. I mean, didn't understand. And now on the guys, I give it to you that they did not watch the full video. If they do, they will completely understand. But nope. They completely comment what I mean without even watching it. Like seriously, that is not that is not how you do. I mean, I mean, this is not how you do as a YouTuber for goodness sakes. Oh my goodness, I'm just getting sick of tired of these woke. I'm saying, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm just getting sick of tired of these woke mob. This is a type of sorry. This is a type of mob that you could tell them go outside and touch grass, honestly. And woke mob, just go outside and touch. Freaking grass because I'm just getting sick of tired hearing you guys nonsense. I'm just getting sick of tired. I'm I, I mean I'm just getting sick of tired hearing these mob. T I mean attacking people's opinion on Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek, or even Game of Thrones on the West. And now we got Matter Webs on the West now. Anyway, oh boy goodness. Anyway, and I really hope Kim Possible. Me, I'm sorry. I, honestly, I really hope that Kim Possible will not do a reboot. Or else, Defenders of Menace will be attacking. Some casting of Kim Possible. Because what if Disney make Kim Possible black and make everything black? And you honestly guys, you already know what the Walk Bob is going to do. It's gonna keep bashing and bashing and bashing and bashing and bashing. And at this point, I am so worried about Kim Possible in the future. Because I'm just hearing the news. I'm sorry, honestly, I'm just hearing the rumor that they I mean they're seriously thinking about Kim Possible reboot. And just like what I just said in my last year video, I do not want to see a reboot of my favorite show of all time and my and my um 
and my um and my uh my second favorite I mean my second favorite thing of all time because I'm, honestly my number three is Frozen Two, and my number three I mean and my number four is Oppenheimer. So yeah, this is Nick Hicks, Spider Verse, and Frozen Two, and Kim Possible Fan Two Thousand One signing out and have a great night. And I see you guys next time. And these work mob can go outside and go touch grass. Because I'm getting sick of time hearing, I mean, hearing this guy's nonsense. I mean, hearing these nonsense. It's getting on my nerves. All right. Have a great night, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And once again, yadios and good night.